How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can host a script on a server so you don't have to run it on your own computer. And in this example, I'm going to be running my Telegram bot on a server for free online. So I won't have to keep my computer open if I want to chat with my Telegram bot. Right now, if you have a bot running in a script, you're going to have to make sure that your computer is turned on at all times. Or else, of course, when you close the computer, the bot's not going to work anymore. Right now I'm running the script, and if I say hello, the bot's going to respond as normal. But of course, if I stop this script and I try to talk to my bot over here, we're not going to get any response anymore because the script has to be continuously running for any of this to work. And that's why one of the main solutions is to host your bot on a server. Because of course you can buy a second computer, but why would you if you can do it for free online? But let me show you how we can host this code over here online so I don't have to run it so I don't have to run it on my own computer. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a website called Python Anywhere. And this is completely free to use. Of course, there are some limitations to how much you can use. For example, they have a free CPU usage per day, which resets every 24 hours. And that gives you 100 seconds of CPU usage. And when you run out of that, the website kind of slows down your bot a bit, but nothing too significant. So you can still run this permanently without any major drawbacks, unless you're handling millions of users, which if you are, you might want to upgrade so you can handle that kind of server pressure. But for something simple that has a few users, you can absolutely use this for free and it works quite well, even with your Discord bots. But anyways, go to pythonanywhere.com and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box down below and create an account and log in. And right now I'm at the dashboard and this is where you should be as well. But inside here, we can tap on files and we want to create a new file. So here it's going to say enter new file name, for example, hello.py. And I did create hello.py because I'm a sucker for free ideas. But in this one, we can type in telegram bot.py, something simple, and tap on new file. Of course, if you have multiple files, you're going to have to upload all of them. But here we're just going to create a telegram bot in one file to make things simple. And it's going to give us this empty window where we can insert our code. So I'm going to go back to my script and I'm going to copy all the code it took to make my telegram bot. So as you can see, it's just a few lines and I'm going to paste it inside this section here. Now, of course, we have some packages that we need to install before moving on with the bot. So at the bottom, there's going to be a section called bash console here. And that's what you want to tap on because it's going to create a bash console for us with this script. And inside here, we can finally use pip install. So we need to pip install, for example, the Python dash telegram slash bot. And that's the one I'm using. And that's the only package I actually need to import to make this work. So then tap on enter and it's going to install everything you need for it and most of the requirements are already installed. And as soon as that is done, we can actually just tap on run over here because I have all of the code inside there. And as soon as I tap on run, it's going to load it. And as you can see right now, it's loading. It says it's starting up the bot, it's polling, and it actually responded to my last message because there was a message sent out that it was not able to respond to while the bot was down, but now it managed to respond to it in my window over here. So now we're hosting it online. As you can see, the bot is polling, which means it is waiting for some input. I can even close this window here and I can just play around with my chatbot because now it's going to be hosted online. So if I say hello again, it's going to respond, hey there, once again, or you can say bye. And it probably won't understand that because it literally has two messages to check for. Uh, I can say something like, I love Python. And I think this will give a nice message back, such as remember to subscribe. But as you could see, it was that simple to host a bot online. And this is going to be available 24 seven. Even if I close my computer, it's still going to be running because right now it's hosted on Python anywhere. But anyways, that's actually all I wanted to share in today's video. Do let me know what you think about this service or whether there's another one you prefer. Maybe I'll make a video on another hosting service if you find one that's more intuitive 
more free and more easy than Python anywhere. I would love to hear about it. But with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.